morning guys <laughs> we are still here around the garden of Ville, and today we are i am helping the local community and we are here in a winery and we pounds of grapes with, wow. with six women I think we got it nice this will be a lot of fun <laughs> let's enjoy this day pretty simple we need to take a few rolls important to don't cut the cable <laughs> and that's it Again to help us with that matter. He's an expert, ready to race. Yeah. Here we are again with the uh, B-Mobile Beast at the Adventures Workshop in Gardnerville, Nevada. So Fabian now has been in the United States, how long? Oh, three years. Three years, and now he's become fat and lazy like the rest of us. <laughs> so instead of hand cranking his motorbike, so make him so tired. We now have developed a winch system using a very reasonably priced winch from uh, our favorite local winch supply. So we're gonna go ahead and finish the wiring. Uh, we're gonna mount the winch and as soon as we get done everybody gets a demonstration. And here we are. This is the remote. We put that we decided to put the remote inside for the winch. Um, well several reasons we don't want people to mess around. I don't want to have this outside when we drive through water or whatever. So we put that cable, those cable 12 volt to the battery. And then we have a long cable which will go on the back to the winch. This this winch. We put away the motorcycle already. this whole work <laughs> was really nice yeah you did it so fast i can't believe it yes five or six hundred pounds of grapes yes i need to show you guys now how we'll i don't know how is the name that you need to mill all that oh yeah yes i don't know that removes the stems exactly you guys yeah. will see that now and then we have to crush with our feet wow this will be fun <laughs> we're gonna be purple yes <laughs> how was yeah. your picking day it was amazing do oh how you did that lots of work <laughs> And they're digging through and making sure all the leaves and branches are out. This is the first step for the wine. Second step. First is to pick them. True. <laughs>
Elsa. Girls can look up and stop. called the Sunset Chateau because it has a beautiful view of the sunset and Sierra Mountains. So many people wanted to come and spend time in the vineyard. So six people can dine, two people can sleep, and then we have a full barbecue grill outside with a private deck and a private um, fire pit, a view of the world, which you'll see. And then we have a fully stocked kitchen. So you have your stainless, you have your microwave, your very important coffee, um, lots of storage for all the utensils. You don't have to bring anything but your walking shoes. We have everything else you need, including breakfast every day and a beautiful romantic weekend in the vineyard with a bottle of our estate made homemade wine. Nice. And this is in Nevada. This is in Northern Nevada, 45 minutes down the hill from Lake Tahoe just seven miles from the California border, right off of Highway 395. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. For <laughs> showing us your little home. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty cool, this earth room, right? I love it, the inside, how she did. It's so amazing. I would love it. If I would not have a truck, I would come here to have a weekend too. <laughs> it's really nice. They just start that. Then if some of you guys wants to have a weekend in Nevada and taste some wine and enjoy this landscape, you know where to go. <laughs> come. We took off. It was right here. The winch is gonna be there soon. So now we're ready to wrap up the winch project. We'll just show you some of the components to the system so it'll make sense. This box is uh, the power box that controls the power to the winch and to the little remote that goes with it. So what we've done here is we've run a power cable out. Instead of trying to run it under the truck and make it permanent, we have it out outside here. And it plugs directly to the winch. Um, maybe not the best setup for now, it's the best setup with the available equipment. So the winch is mounted to the original mounting spot. You see, we've got some silicone drying on the hardware. Uh, because of the severe conditions you're going to see uh, when you're at the beach, we want to keep air away from these connections so we don't have any corrosion. 
the new winch cable runs up in the same place as the old cable. Sunday. Safe travels. All right, you just saw me first time putting it up. Was a little tricky, but we managed. And I promise you, we will film sometimes later. When we did, we forgot to film, unfortunately. But anyways, we optimized the process. We have here now everything wrapped up. We also what we did here is uh, thanks to George, we ordered uh, an outside plug for a 12 volt, so nobody can touch actually the winch. So we have to open this. We put the cable here and then look underneath here. We tightened that, if Isabella can show that. We made this fix. So now, stay there. We can just plug it in. We also have a cover on the winch uh, that takes away the dust. And we also. We have a cover now for the whole motorcycle, so we are good to go to South America. Thanks George again, thanks Buffy for having us, see you when we see you, and now back to Isabella. Don't forget then to subscribe to our channel, give some thumbs if you like videos like that where we are helping the community, that we are helping the neighbors and enjoy time and learning a new profession. <laughs> Hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and see you when we see you. Um, it's called sabering the champagne, the, the knife being a saber, they do, used to do it with swords. So instead of popping the cork, you saber it, which cuts off the top inch or two wow. of the bottle. And then you drink it. Nice. Go. Ready.